finite state machine okay <coughs> we are here will progress uh, and <coughs> okay now this is the most common question that i came across in my this uh, career that what is a regular language okay now this is a very common question people ask me that a student ask me that what is a regular language so uh, let me define what is a regular language okay so regular language because that is the first category that we are learning okay okay now definition is very simple a language a language accepted by abbreviation finite state machine is called a regular language okay <clears throat> and uh, because a language is a set don't con get confused if someone say regular set okay don't get confused with this we have already seen a language but this is nothing but a set <clears throat> is chomsky hierarchy and you have to learn the small thing to use it that anything that is finite okay any finite set is regular containment property okay containment property finite sets are contained in regular sets okay so anything that is finite is always regular but every regular set is not finite okay that is the property that will use a uh, later also we will comment about something like this that anything regular is context free but anything context free may not be regular containment property regular is inside all all are regular languages okay all regular languages are context free but all context free language are not regular okay now this is how you have to use this to answer hierarchy okay so first thing first finite set okay all finite sets so now this is the most important concept you will be tested in the gate examination okay important point that all finite set all finite sets are regular <clears throat> but every regular set is not finite okay and let me tell you this is very important okay this small statement is very important okay for the gate perspective if you are really sincere all finite sets are regular but every regular every regular set is not finite every regular language or set is not finite okay so later when we come when we come to the conclusion of this regular thing and there is a particular topic to to find out regular or non regular okay whether the given set is regular or non regular whether given set fsm possible or not possible <coughs> the statement comes very handy now the statement is really very handy once you find out that uh, our language is finite directly you can claim that fsm is possible for it how it is possible does not matter but directly you can claim that uh, that fsm is possible and the given language is regular okay so this very small important statement a all finite sets are regular but every regular set is not finite okay so and that works for later one also okay now how to use the chomsky hierarchy because of this containment property that if i am here okay now i can grow i can i can write more statement in this way that uh, <clears throat> but i'm not writing it you have to understand and learn it uh regular every a, a, reg, a finite set is regular okay a regular set is context free a regular set is context sensitive a regular set is recursive a regular set is recursive enumerable okay now in this way a context free is a context free is context sensitive a context free is recursive a context free is recursive enumerable okay so this is how it's the things are been used and uh, this is important okay the F, the chomsky hierarchy is important and this part the first we are starting that all finite sets are regular but every regular set is not finite okay so this is our starting point the course will progress your understanding will be better
Okay, mathematical definition, finite state machine. Okay, so we start, everyone starts with definition, we also start with definition. FSM. <coughs> so this is the mathematical definition, theoretical definition of what is a finite state machine. So it's a tuple, Q, sigma, Q0, F, delta. Okay. So it's a five tuples. There are mathematical definition. Uh, mathematical definition of finite state machine is nothing but Q, sigma, Q0, F and delta. Okay. Now there are some myth associated with uh, with the DFA. Okay. So the first uh, first type of the machine we are learning is the deterministic one. Okay. Deterministic. Okay, so for what we are learning in this case is the deterministic machine. Okay, now <coughs> so this definition goes with deterministic machine, huh? DFA. Okay, now this is what I am calling it is a DFA, deterministic finite automata. So in this case, uh, let's start with this. Q is a set of state. Okay, sigma is set of alphabet. Q0 is the start state, okay, F, okay, now, few myths, F is a set of final state, okay, okay, so first of all, if you have more than one final state, myth associated with DFA, uh, if there is a more than one final state that doesn't make the DFA a non-deterministic machine, it's a, still a deterministic machine, okay. So beliefs are there and uh, that has to be addressed. Uh, F is a set of final state. Finally, the transition function. Delta is a transition function. Transition function. Okay, so delta is a transition function and uh, very simple transition functions are there. Uh, okay, so this delta thing is how DFA will be defined. Okay, now this is how the DFA will be defined, delta, the transition function, important. So it's a function, okay, delta is a mapping. Mapping. Okay, just a small few example of mapping then I'll come to this because again there are a few things that you have to understand that the mapping function is about domain and codomain range domain and range okay so one two three x y z okay mapping <coughs> so mapping okay This is not a function. Okay. You can think why it's not a function. Well, this is your domain and this is codomain. Okay, because I'm in function. So this is not a function. Why it is not function? Because one is having two images. Okay. So there are two images. There are two images of one. One is mapped two times. One is in X, another one is in Y. Not a function. Okay. So <coughs> this is not a function. It has to be what? One image. There must be one image. Okay. Now this is totally allowed. It is allowed. It's okay. And we are okay with this. That one is having images X, two is having images Y. <coughs> so it's okay. But there should be only one image. One is mapped to X. Two is in mapped to X. Totally fine. It's okay. Okay. But the previous one was not a function. It is okay. This one is okay. Okay. So this this the, the initial example that I have given that this is not a function. So you cannot have more than one image. First thing. Okay. There should be a only one image possible. One, two, three, X, Y, Z. Okay. So. Okay, not a function. Okay, not a function. 
it also not a function. Why? Why it's not a function? Two don't have any image. Okay. So this mapping two don't have any image. So there is no image of two. <coughs> There is no image of 2. What is f of 2? Nothing. Where is it mapped? Nowhere. Okay. Not allowed. Okay. It is not allowed. There must be one image. At least one image must be there. Okay. <coughs> so there is no image of number 2. Okay. So f of 2 not defined. You cannot skip it. You have to define it over here. Okay, so <laughs> two, 2 don't have an image, it is not defined, you cannot have it, you have to define 2. Okay, so this is the thing uh, that we could, don't call it as a function. Uh, now the concept of 1 to 1 and on to, I am not go to that, I am only interested in mapping. So what is a mapping? Mapping that there should not be more than 2 images and there must be 1 image. Okay, that is the only thing I am interested in, that there, there should not be more than 1 image and there must be an image, that's all. Okay, but that is a function, domain and codomain. So not a function, not a function. Okay, so now once you small thing that is understandable, that mapping, so how it has been mapped? Mapping is like this. So there is a Q state cross sigma input will be mapped to this is a mapping and you will follow the previous property that I said okay this is the mapping and you will follow the previous thing that I said about the function that do you will not draw two images for a single state okay now how to translate how to use it that if I give you one state what we are talking about deterministic machine if I give you q0 suppose that's a state you will not write two images for q0 fine so q0 will be mapped to only one image will be there. There no, there will be no two images. And second, you will not skip Q0 on input A. Suppose the input is there, state Q0 is there. You will also not skip Q0 on input A. There must be some mapping must be there. Both are not a function. Okay. So, <coughs> oh, okay. Sorry. Uh, cross is a Cartesian, Cartesian product. So, let's check example and a small result and then we'll go and design machine. Suppose Q is Q0 and Q1, okay, Q0 and Q1 and sigma is your, suppose, uh, A and B, okay, and uh, this will be again Q0, Q0 and Q1. So, this is how it will look like, transition function will look like this, <coughs> okay, this is how it will look like, purely mathematical, okay, purely mathematical model that we are learning uh, in this case. So Q0 on A, Q0 on input B, so this is your domain, Q0 on input A, uh, Q1, Q0 on input B, Q1 on input A and Q1 on input B and this side only Q0 and Q1, okay. So now you have to find function D, delta you define it and it will become a deterministic machine. You define one delta, random, random mapping you do, what is the two condition? that uh, no two images and there must be one image, okay, no two images and there must be one image, okay. So for example, for example, I can write many things, I can write many things, I can count it how many things, how many DFAs are possible, okay, I can also do this thing, but for example, for your small understanding in this case, suppose this, okay, suppose this, this and this, suppose this is my mapping. Okay, so everyone is mapped, yes, there is two images, one is uh, Q0 on input, one is distinct, only single image, yes, okay, so <coughs> fine, this will be translated into table that we call transition table, this will be translated to transition graph, what is graph, I will not go to that, okay. uh, again, that is something that is out of syllabus right now or not syllabus out of uh, context of this particular subject. So transition table, this will be translated to transition table, this will be translated to transition graph, okay. And now see, 
transition table. Q0, Q1. Huh? There are a few more requirements are there that I'll fill later. Input A and B. Okay. Input A and B. Q0 on input A, Q0. Q0 on input B, Q0. QA, Q1 on input A, Q0. And Q1 on input B, Q1. Okay. This is how the table, D, DFA table will look like. Okay. Now, <coughs> you have to really understand and learn to uh, distinguish between uh, FSM and DFA. Okay. Every FSM is not a DFA. And when the question is clearly asked about a deterministic finite state machine, that is the most most of the time or let's say focused or asked in the gate examination, then you have to follow certain property. What is the property? Single entry. Okay. No blank space. Okay. Single entry and no blank space. That is the idea of DFA. What is the DFA? Table will look like this. And that is how you have to identify whether you have designed a DFA. When I say DFA, you have to follow this thing strictly. Okay. You have to follow this thing strictly. It's not a random process. Okay, so no multiple entry table. You will draw the table or you draw the diagram, but you verify it where the table no multiple entry. Okay, no multiple entry in the table. And second is no blank space. No blank space. Okay, so this this is the two 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 property. <clears throat> this is the two property of a deterministic finite set machine that there should be no multiple entry, no blank space. Transition graph, okay, transition graph will look like this. Q0 and Q1, two state labeled. Okay, and uh, what is A? Uh, move A. What is B? Move A. Okay, Q1. Okay, uh, Q1, Q1 will be in this case will be, uh, will be like this. It will look like this. At Q1 on input A going to Q0 and on input B it will be like this. Okay. Now <coughs> it's a DFA. Okay. I, I'm not right now. I'm not commenting anything about what it is, uh, what it will accept. But it's a transition diagram, transition transition function for the DFA. Two more subtle requirement is there that there must be a start state. Okay. And there must be a final state. You can you can you can have any. Okay. You can have any. But this is the this is the double circle. Double circle is a convention for final state double circle okay double circle final state and arrow for start state uh, usually uh, books books vary books varies books have different convention uh, here also uh, arrow is for the start state start state and star is for the final state. So this is a particularly, uh, this is a DFA. Okay. And uh, uh, if there are, okay, I'm, I'll leave you with this small question that if the domain consists of, uh, consists of M element and uh, co-domain consists of uh, N element, this is most common question asked, this is the very common question asked in the get examination that uh, there are m element like here 4 and 2 okay how many how many functions possible okay uh, just a small task okay. uh, take a break and try to answer this question that uh, how many functions are possible <coughs>